Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be giving my first impressions and some gameplay from the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta. My first impression is I definitely like it. I recommend you at least trying out the beta. You can throw down $5 and give it a shot. I think it's definitely worth it. Or you can go on Twitter. A lot of the famous COD YouTubers are retweeting out tweets they get with beta codes. So check out Twitter or Facebook or any of those social media sites. If you don't feel like hang for the beta but you still want to play it so now that we've given my first impressions that i enjoy it i want to talk a little bit more about the maps the guns the specialists and the movements and before we get into it i just want to say that this is not my overall review none of that this is just my first impressions what jumps out to me when i first played this beta this morning so first i want to talk about the maps first of all Combine is probably my favorite just because it's the smallest, tightest, it's a lot of action and that's just generally what I enjoy from a Call of Duty map. I would say Evac is my least favorite just because I don't really like the flow of that map. It's kind of a weird map. Hunted is okay. I mean it's it's good or bad and the, the other map is okay as well. Uh, not particularly. Combine definitely stands out to me as my favorite one. The maps are generally very well designed for the movement in uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a little while. The guns. I definitely think the assault rifles are the way to go in Black Ops 3. The ARK-7, the Man of War, the HVK-30. Those guns, I like all of them. That's definitely my favorite class. Second to some machine guns. The shotguns and the snipers, I'm not such a fan of yet. The ones that I've tested out. The semi-automatic Dracoon, I believe it is, is definitely the better of the two snipers I've tried so far. But not much luck with the snipers. I think it's a little bit too fast-paced for consistent sniper rifle play. I've seen people do it, but not for me. On to the specialists. The specialists have been a point of controversy leading up to the beta, but I believe that they're not OP. And I actually think they're fun. I think they provide a nice mix-up of the gameplay. I, like I said, I don't think they're OP. I think a lot of the ones that people said are going to be OP are Glitch especially. First one I did when I spent my first unlock token, I unlocked Glitched and I used it. I didn't find it to be that OP. I think it's good for getting out of tough situations. Really all it's going to do is going to save you one death. It's not that OP. If anything, I'd look at the weapons more as OP rather than Glitch. Because, I mean, Glitch is something you got to use tactically, you got to use it right. And then you got to be able to catch the opponents off guard to be able to get a kill maybe out of it. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't think Glitch is that overpowered. If anything, I'd say Tempest is overpowered since you just charge it up for a second. That lightning bolt instantly fries people. I mean, so I think that one, if anything, is overpowered rather than the other specialists. I haven't gotten to try out all of the first four specialist abilities because each of them have two. One offensive and one defensive. But yeah, I'd say Glitch is definitely the most overpowered out of the defensive ones. But I still don't think it's as bad as some of the offensive ones. I think Gravity Spike is not that good. I just didn't find that many situations where I could just run up to someone, have the time to like jump up in the air and slam these things down and actually kill someone. I don't know, I just didn't particularly like that one. And lastly, I want to talk a bit about the movement. I think the movement in Black Ops 3 is good. I think it's fun. I think the wall running is good. They have, like I said before, it's well designed for the map. There are definitely a couple places in each map that are designed to be wall run on and jump. And they designed it a lot better than Sledgehammer did for their movement. I feel like Treyarch said, we have these movement mechanics and we have to have the maps, you know, use them to their best ability. And they definitely did that with all the maps. It's fast paced. You move quickly, you get to enemies quickly. One of my biggest problems with Ghost was I thought it was boring. It took forever to get to enemies because the map's huge, the movement is slow. Now we can jump, but it's not like these stupid double jump boosts way up into the air. All the moves are kind of controlled. You're in the air, but not a lot. You know, you have your meter, which can time out if you're in the air for too long. Those are my first impressions of the Black Ops 3 beta. I'm probably going to be doing a couple other videos. I'll probably do the Black Ops 3 beta, the good, the bad, and the ugly, where I get more in-depth into what I liked and didn't like about the beta. And I may do a kind of awesome moments montage 
we'll see how it all goes down but as always if you like this video i'd really appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day